99 and then so on before he shows him the remedy down there in the text. And, the, and I need to get to that point where I can explain this uh, intelligently to people uh, and, and not confuse them. And uh, that's, that's probably my biggest frustration right now, but I know that will come. Um, this whole concept uh, I've been sitting in on maybe, this may be my fourth or maybe my fifth uh, call, um, has given me tremendous hope, uh, tremendous renewal of my faith. Uh, it's also uh, verified many of the things that I have uh, often thought uh, about my religious teachings, my spiritual teachings for many years, which uh, really flew in the face of uh, uh, Orthodox uh, uh, Protestantism, I guess you would call it. Um, and, and I'm very pleased with, with those things too. Um, it's, it's interesting that in my life, uh, I probably was closer to where I am right now 30 years ago, um, but with no teachers, uh, of any kind to turn to, no mentors, but just some thoughts and things that were coming into my mind that I really did not know, uh, what to do with them. And so, uh, literally went back to sleep. <laughs> but, that's, but that's like the bright young, um, defenders, public defenders that, you know, Lee and, and, and the team saw today in the sense that, you know, people don't go and study X years of law because they, they want to go and screw the world. I mean, there might be some that do that, but most don't. The same as people who want to be a doctor. I'm sure even people, um, you know, it, 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 well, another one is people who join the military. People don't join the military because they want to go and most don't join because they want to go and and kill people. They do it as a matter of service. They do it as a matter uh, because they they believe in the values. They believe in the honour. So, right. and, and I don't think necessarily that they entirely squash our spirit. Even even a judge as as, as crippled in in years of of, of wickedness. Um, is not um, entirely cut off from the prospect of redemption. But the challenge always is how we conduct ourselves. You know, when we conduct ourselves in the manner of, of how things took place today, and I'm sure how things will come in the future, then, again, this is reinforcing what all of you are saying. Then we become the redemption, because then they will call us to chambers and say, who are you? What is this? And it will be a genuine thirst. It won't be a exploring for to screw. It'll be really a cry for their own redemption of their own soul. And you know, then we can say, "Well, you can go and have a look for yourself." And then that—that's the seed. You've sown the seed. The rest is up to up to, to them and and and, uh, and what you've shared with them. So it's great. I understand what you're saying, and I think that's part of life. You know, we 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 begin with our eyes open, our hearts open. Uh, and then, you know, so often we'll fall asleep. <laughs> Maybe you'll be waking up again. Thank you for sharing that, John. Thank you. Yeah, thanks. Uh, Rich, how do you feel? I see you um, tuning up there. What, how do you feel about this? Can you hear us? Rich, Rich Cullen? Did, did you want to comment? How do you feel about what you've been hearing? I know I saw your comments earlier about sharing it with, um, and that's great. But did you want to speak? Oh, okay. You're a fast typist. I can hear the keyboard. <laughs> okay, no worries. Um, well, look, um, as I said, I don't have much more to share other than to, to be really um, most grateful with the feedback that um, has been given tonight. And, Jed, you've seen a lot. I mean, can I ask you? You've seen a lot of ups. You've seen a lot of downs. How's this sitting with you? Uh, I'm... Um 
I feel like I should have already been doing some of this stuff, but just haven't felt like it would do me any good as far down as I am and as as much as I've lost. Um, the uh, you know you lose your house, you lose your business, you lose your. Uh, I've got um, all kinds of um, of things that have been taken from me because I was trying to fight these. Um, with you people on uh, these banks and and all, but it, uh, you know, and the the reason I I pointed out this number four in the ecclesiastical deed poll is you know it says we're not uh, we're we don't want anything we don't want any coercive or punitive benefits we don't want anything back we just want everything to stop and and I realized that that you know I never really owned anything anyway it was never mine but I was just using it. But it sure would be nice to have, you know, a nice, uh, a nicer place. I, I live in a. <laughs> uh, I don't know how my wife is still with me, but anyway, she is, and she's she's hung in there. I don't. I, I thank her every day, but um, uh, you know, I just it's just been really, really disheartening to uh, have been as high as I was at one time in life, and as low as I've come right now. But you're opening my eyes to things that I've never really thought. I've never been able. Uh, none of this stuff has ever been shared, as everybody said tonight. I mean, uh, it's 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 empowering, and I think that I'm beginning to understand the more I read in the in the positive law uh, that. I could probably just go with anybody, uh, you know, sit them down and then explain a little bit about this. And if they've got a court case or something, I could just go in there with them and, and probably uh, be able to help them in a lot of different ways. You know, maybe I can't do it for myself right now because maybe it's too late, but maybe I can help other people. Um, yeah. Look, when you when you when you think of Job, yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, could have been you, right? <laughs> sure. Right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. But, I mean, uh, I don't know necessarily if we can physically help others if we don't yet find how to help ourselves first. I guess that's something that's kind of come out of the theme tonight, do you think? In the sense that, that there is... There is something, and, and, and look, it can come from um, it can come from uh, uh, the experiences that you've had um, that that almost we become almost like shell shocked. You know what I mean? Uh, or or, or it, there's a doubt because um, we've tried everything and nothing's worked, and so we're kind of um, we're sort of doubting that there is any kind of remedy. Jed, whatever whatever it is, um, whatever you do, something has called you back in spite of what has happened. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Like I mean, people have, have have shied away and denounced it all for far less than what's happened to you, and yet you still find it within yourself to look for um, a deeper meaning and an end. And I guess all I say to you, I can't you know, I, I can't force you, and I want to force you. And I know that, in a sense, you're kind of looking for that catalyst. But, but if you think about this, for all the power that comes from a deep pole or insight or knowledge or experience, the only person that can ultimately stand up and prove who you are is you. And until you do that, then you haven't done it. I mean, you can say you're divine, you can say you're um, a mortal spirit, you can say that you are the flesh, you can say all those things, but until you actually do it, until that pole and sealed and done, until you actually stand and make that happen, you haven't done it. Yeah? True. Well, I, 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 I have no doubt that things will, from this point on, turn back in your favour but that will be a milestone the day you do that because then you are bearing witness to everything that you've turned the corner 
That doesn't mean that, you know, every single day will be joyous, but no longer will you feel in the way that you felt probably for a while of being hounded. And uh, in, in many cases, um, you know, isolated and under-equipped, you know, and naked compared to the forces that these people have, yeah? A- absolutely. Well, that can only stop the day that you, and when you're ready to, that you stand. But you've come a long way, and, and, and you know, full credit and full marks to you. After all that's been said and done, you're still here. Oh, oh, this is this is wonderful stuff. I mean, it's absolutely you're you're uh, uh, the salt of the earth, the godsend. Uh, you're just a brilliant man. I don't I don't see how you do what you do and are able to reason the way you reason. <laughs> And get things done the way you do them. <laughs> You're unbelievable, Frank. You really are. Uh, the, he's he's got his finger on you. I can I can see that. Well, Jed, I mean, um, you know, normally it's easy to be a philosopher. <laughs> I don't know who wrote that. Some guy who clearly wasn't a philosopher. <laughs> but uh, it's. Uh, yeah, look, every, everything's, everything has a place. Everything has a time. Everything has a place. And um, the words and the, the meaning, as I say, I didn't write these things. Um, and, and really, I try very, very hard not to, to stand in the way. In fact, I try extremely hard to make sure that I, yes, I stand by the side because I do bear witness to what comes. Um, but I. But the, these words are the words that you've always known. I mean, you've always known when you've gone to court that something's going on. I mean, clearly everyone in the court, except for the judge, hasn't got a clue. And then even sometimes you look at the judge and you think, does the judge really know? But something's going on. Well, <clears throat> now we know why. So again, it, it's it, if you look at the positive law, all I've done is I've taken, I don't know, 50, 60,000 documents and just put it into a, a truth machine and said what's the truth it's excuse my French it's separated the crap <laughs> and there's and there's the truth <laughs> um, you know it was always there it was always there so it's just you know um, thank you for your kind words um, Jed and, and uh, no I, I'm wrapped that you know we we are uh, I would converse as with Destry, as with Regan, when he's not sort of just sitting around, and, and all of you, in uh, in being able to to converse and and really see uh, um, that this knowledge can be put to practical use. So I, I hope, particularly in those that haven't yet faced the full force of a foreclosure, that that can help them, particularly even in redeeming their homes, in uh, showing the banks that the game of fraud is over. But how uh, how do we uh, you know uh, it's there's no way to really go back and get anything back though is there? Um, um, I just did it, Jed. Frank. I'm uh, sorry. Yeah, of course, of course there is, Jed. I mean, I the, just I just did it. Frank just did it. I actually it, had to break back into my house, Jed, and drill their locks out. Oh. oh. <laughs> I'll tell you. I'll, let me tell you what it. Let me tell you what it is, because it is written here. Let me find it. So, so someone's living in. Someone's already bought my house from the bank, so called. Okay. All right, but but okay, but you know, with the knowledge you know. Well, let, let, let's let's take a scenario, Jet. And I'm not saying that this is a scenario that everyone should should do. But right. remember, if you do go down this scenario, all it will do is hasten the end of the system. <clears throat> so, but. If you uh, once you do stand and, and show the system that you are a divine moral spirit expressed uh, uh, in trust to the living flesh, and that you have your life on record and, and the system's there, and they dishonour to see you again, Jed, you're a property owner then, aren't you? You're a property owner. Absolutely. Okay, so property owner. So um, they dishonour you, 
Well, if I just honor you, 